ഡബ്ല്യു പി ഡബ്ല്യു സിൻഡ്രോം ഈസ് ഷോർട്ട് ഫോം ഫോർ വോൾഫ് പാർക്കിൻസൺ വൈറ്റ് സിൻഡ്രോം ഡബ്ല്യു പി ഡബ്ല്യു സിൻഡ്രോം ഈസ് ക്യാരക്ടറൈസ്ഡ് ബൈ ആൻ ആക്സസറി എലക്ട്രിക്കൽ കണ്ടക്ഷൻ പാത്വേ ഫ്രം ദി അപ്പർ ചേമ്പേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദി ഹാർട്ട് ടു ദി ലോവർ ചേമ്പേഴ്സ് കോസിങ് ഹാർട്ട് റിതം അബ്നോമാലിറ്റീസ് ഹാർട്ട് ഹാസ് എ നാച്ചുറൽ പേസ് മേക്കർ നോൺ ആസ് ദി സൈനസ് നോഡ് സിറ്റുവേറ്റഡ് ഇൻ ദ റൈറ്റ് അപ്പർ ചേമ്പർ the electrical signals are conducted to the next relay station at the lower part of that chamber known as the atrioventricular node from the atrioventricular node av node the signals are conducted to the lower chambers after a short delay this delay is bypassed by the accessory pathway when there are two pathways to the lower chambers one through the av node and another through the accessory pathway signals can sometimes travel through the pathways in a sequence forming a re-entrant circuit signal pass down one pathway and return to the upper chambers through the other pathway forming a circus movement when the signal pass back and forth through these circuits in a rapid fashion every fast heart rate can occur which is felt by the person as palpitation if the rate is very fast heart cannot fill properly between contractions and the amount of blood pumped out by the heart in each contraction comes down when the amount of blood pumped out by the heart is low blood flow to the brain may be affected low blood supply to the brain may cause the person to faint when the heart rate is very fast sometimes if the fast rate persists for a long period without treatment it may weaken the heart muscle this weakening reduces the pumping function of the heart leading to heart failure in heart failure there is damming up of blood in the lungs making it heavier and causing breathlessness when a fast rhythm is noted it can be immediately treated with medications given through the blood vessels of the arms with monitoring of the heart rhythm ideally in an indent ck unit recurrence can be prevented by giving appropriate medications on a long term basis sometimes when a life threatening heart rhythm abnormality is noted a controlled electrical shock using a device known as defibrillator may have to be given for correcting the heart rhythm wpw syndrome can be diagnosed by an ecg the recording of the electrical activity of the heart an ultrasound study of the heart known as echocardiogram will check whether there is any associated structural heart disease an abnormality of the wall between the right upper and lower chambers of the heart known as epstein's anomaly may be associated with wpw syndrome location of the accessory pathway can be localized to some extent by noting the pattern in the ecg further localization of the accessory pathway can be made by an electrophysiology study in electrophysiology study multiple electrode wires are introduced into the heart through the blood vessels in the groin and neck recording of the electrical activity at multiple sites within the heart will localize the abnormal pathway once it is localized it can be removed by a procedure known as radio frequency catheter ablation in this procedure tiny localized burns are produced in the location of the accessory pathway using very high frequency currents this removes the electrical conduction in the abnormal pathway and resolves the heart rhythm abnormality thank you for watching this video please subscribe like share and post your valuable comment below this video